Well, tonight we dive deeper into a cold case murder in New York City more than 22 years ago, September 11th, 2001, the day of the 9-11 terror attacks. It was the only murder that day in New York City outside of lower Manhattan. The murder happened much later that night in Brooklyn. And that night, no surprise, New York City police were busy with 9-11. Tonight, investigative reporter Kristen Thorne revisits the case. There are few situations in which one can draw a parallel to the men and women who lost their lives on 9-11. But retired NYPD detective Michael Prate says the life and death of Henrik Siviak does in his mind. It's like bookends, right? They left in the morning, their family, and they did nothing else other than show up for work. This man did nothing else other than go to work that night. Nothing else. That's, that's what sticks in my mind all these years later. As night settled on lower Manhattan, the dust still permeating the air from the terrorist attacks earlier that morning on 9-11, life carried on as usual for Siviak. A recent Polish immigrant, he headed to the first night at his new job at a grocery store in Brooklyn. He got on the A train, and that's where he made a fatal error. Instead of getting out at the 1500 block of Albany Avenue, where the grocery store was, Siviak ended up four miles away in the first block of Albany Avenue in Bed-Stuy. I'm assuming he was lost, you know, and, and I'm, I'm sure when he got down there, he realized that. And then it's almost like he just stepped into the cage, like the lion's den. Guns, drugs, bloods, crips. It was dangerous for the police to be on that block. Prate remembers it well. He was assigned to the 79th precinct and recalls that night around 11.40 p.m. when the 911 calls came in. He's accosted by a group of individuals. Witnesses had heard the yelling. Then as he fled, there were shots fired. He actually went up a couple of people's doors and knocked on the door seeking help. But nobody opened the door at that point. When police arrived, they found Siviak lying in a pool of his own blood. They began to process the scene, but Prate says the response wasn't the same in some ways. Attention was needed elsewhere. Limited manpower, limited detectives. It's the perfect storm of chaos. Years went by. Detectives continued to work the case, even reaching out to people who used to live on the block. Are you hopeful one day this will be solved? I'm not just hopeful. I know that one day that will be solved. He is truly an innocent victim. The wrong block at the wrong time on the wrong day. And he's murdered. That case is closable. We asked the NYPD to interview the current detective working this case, but the NYPD told us they could not accommodate us for an interview. If you have any information about the murder of Henrik Siviak, call 1-800-577-TIPS.